Yeah, thank you so much for coming all the way to Germany. It's a real pleasure to have you here. I know you have been to Germany before because you are married to a half German. I am, I am. But I think this is the first time for you at IAS, right? It is. I, ju I literally just landed today and I came in in German time to be on time <laughs> for, my, for our conversation. And this is insane i mean it's it's almost like you know everything is hitting you and i've, I've only only been in this hall it's it's absolutely incredible so cool that you, i mean in this lounge is super cool super cool very super. cool yeah you we heard your practices in florida yes. one of the states with the highest number of dentists in the states yeah so there's a lot of competition how different you <laughs> differentiate yourself so I, I truthfully did not know. I've been practicing for 17 years. I did not know that fact. I knew I was in a saturated area. I'm not in a rural area. So I'm in a rare area where like it's suburban. There's, a, there's, a, like, there's literally a dentist in every corner. And I never really cared about what anybody else was doing. I was always like just doing my thing. I'm my own competition kind of thing. Um, so it was always about that like, you know, connection with the patients and like loving the 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 relationship and really nurturing that. But that truthfully can only take you to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, I, I discovered interdisciplinary dentistry, some of the stuff that, you know, with Spear and Kois, and, and then I discovered, which completely just changed my life, digital, you know, digital dentistry. And then it just, I mean, every single time a patient comes, they're like, there's a new toy, you know, there's something new. So I do think that's a big part. Of, I mean, it's almost that, combination of like the the warmth of the like love and connections and the time that we spend you know very personalized yeah. care with like the coolness of like you know technology so i think that's that's kind of what sets us apart fantastic and you have a vhf z4 in your practice but that's not actually <laughs> the start of digital in your practice right it's it's not um and it was you know um it was almost like trying to put all the puzzle pieces together. I'm not fully complete and truthfully with technology and innovation, you can never be fully complete with, you know, digital, but, but it was a, a part that was missing. I, I was capturing the information, you know, with uh, digital scanning. I was, um, you know, doing a lot of like digital smile design and like, I was doing like a lot of the steps, but I wasn't really capturing that manufacturing side of things. I was always, a little bit intimidated by it mm -hmm. and I never I, I never really saw something that really spoke to me in terms of like the quality that went with the ease mm -hmm. <laughs> no pun intended that went with the like making it easy and yeah. we have to take care of so many things you know the patients first employees and the HR I mean so many things for me to have to worry about something like um, which is um, like if you really think about it manufacturing your own stuff that's a monster project um, so I never really, I was intimidated by it until I was, you know, introduced to, to VHF. Fantastic. And how did you come uh, along VHF? So, I mean, there's, there's two reasons. Um, number one reason was I'm friends with Miguel Stanley and he, I mean, he's a power user, right? I mean, not only a power, like everything person wise, but, you know, he really maximizes um, his E5 and, and then I actually got to visit him too and I saw some of the machines. But the most important thing, I think, because just because somebody that you know and love their work, you're not just going to follow it blindly. So it was mostly the user friendly. I already told you I was intimidated by it. So I needed something that was plug and play, which is my C4. Um, I needed something that I have a tiny office, only three operatories. I mean, we're maximizing everything. So I needed something that wasn't too invasive, that I needed any, that I didn't need any construction or plumbing or anything like that. Um, and, and that truthfully that I could delegate to. I wanted to learn it enough to know that it was user friendly, but that my team could just really take care of things. So when, I mean, all you literally, all you need is a plug. It was plug and play. So in my practice, because it's so tiny and I don't have any space, it's in my lobby. So it w I wanted something that looked pretty too, because of course, you know, like you want something that's aesthetic as well. Um, so, I mean, it's, it, it checked everything to me. So yeah, that's, that's why. And your husband was also involved in, <laughs> in the was. time when the VHF T4 came, right? <laughs> he, he was. So he, I was so excited about this machine and he, I mean, he is a physician, but he's a carpenter on the side. So he made me like a custom, like wooden, like beautiful tape. What kind of wood is it? 
an oak, oak like an oak table for like with the dimensions of the c4 and everything mm-hmm. so it, it was a family affair definitely when the machine came yeah very good <laughs> yeah yeah and you documented your whole journey very well your journey <laughs> into chair side milling i uh, did what was the reaction on social media so i mean i this whole digital world even before i even before i jumped into it it was again it was one like it's almost one of these things like that's the future that's not yet it's not for me so as as i was going through things i wanted to like real life like how how the timeline was going and because i thought it could help other people that were either considering it or going through it and like maybe troubleshooting together um so the, the the answers were always like, I'm so happy that you're sharing this because I've always been so intimidated. And then a lot of surprise of like, are you sure you can put this in your lobby? Like, are you sure this is not too loud? Or are you sure like you can only plug it and you don't need to do anything else? So there's a lot of myths and there's a lot of information that like, people don't understand how, and especially with you guys, like how things have been like so much more friendly and how things flow. So there's, I think the reaction was like, thank you for sharing it because I want to know. Um, and opening like a little window of like, maybe this, maybe I could do this. Like if I'm, if I could do it, then anybody could do it because I do love technology, but I also love spending time with my patients and the clinic on being chair side. So I don't want to be like, you know, like all like crazy going on, like dealing with machines. I want the machines to like do the hard work so that I can focus on the patients. Wonderful. And what kind of indications, what kind of materials do you do? So I have a Z4. Um, and when we were considering at the beginning and part of what I, why, uh, what I told him, like, I'm, I'm not quite ready to like jump into like full like stuff. And I do a lot of interdisciplinary. So I'll do like all the way from single like units in like in my kind of practice. And I'll go full on like I'll do full arches, like same day extractions and implants. And like, so, so that's when you're like, oof, like an E5, like looks amazing. But I, I did not want to overwhelm myself. And I wanted to start with something that I could, you know, like do same day dentistry. Um, in the, like a patient, I have patients that travel to see me. So like, that's like the perfect, you know, because some patients I'll be like, it's no problem. It's not like you have to come back. It's no problem. We can like do it the same day. But yeah, usually we'll do like on lace, um, single posterior crowns, I do a lot of implants, so I don't really do that many bridges. But once in a while, if a patient is either not indicated or financially can't do the implants, then we'll do a, a bridge too, you know, if, if the span is, is enough. So very simple, straightforward, and it's, it's and truthfully, my team has taken over so much. And that's the ease of it. You know, I, I wanted to learn it enough, and I wanted to know the capabilities and what we were able to do so that I could do the clinical applications and then delegate the rest. Okay, can, can you walk us through when a new patient comes and they want to so, fix their smile? Yeah, so so it depends because fixing the smile, then then we're like talking like the regular consultation. Mm-hmm. So the regular consult, the patient will come, either, even if they're not coming for a smile, every single patient will get scanned. Every single patient will get regular pictures and portraits because I want to have everything just in case I can show them the possibilities, even if that's not the main reason they're coming. Yeah. So, um, I mean, that goes through regardless. It could be DSD, it could be ExoCAD, it could be, I mean, there's so, that, that's, a compl- that's like an hour conversation. <laughs> but, but when we're talking about, you know, my use of this, let's say a patient comes in and they have a situation on a tooth and, and they're in a rush or something, even if they're not in a rush, you know, even if it's something that, that it, just the thought that psychologically speaking, not having to worry about waiting f- to have something. So, and then they'll get, like, if it's something that I can do a pre-op scan with my eye tarot, then I'll do the pre-op scan and I'll send the exocad. We'll finalize everything and then, you know, we, we go direct to milling. But there are some other, you know, the more toys you have, the more your brain starts going to different places. That's not necessarily maybe why I purchased it, but then I'll start having, like, let's say I am doing, you know, a smile and I am prepping and this is a patient that's out of town, so I'll, like, mill you know, some of the provisional stuff, like I'll section it. So it's all of these things that start kind of like in my brain of how I can maximize the technology that I have. So I've, I've done some, of course, milling uh, on lace and crowns with Emacs, um, also the, some of the Vita products as well that um, they've been so, so nice to um, showing me and, and teach literally teaching me like how to glaze or how to like polish. Like I didn't, I didn't know how to do any of that. I never did any of that. Um, so, and then of course, all of the plastic materials and stuff like that. 
teaching is the right keyword. We heard earlier in your bio that you're deeply involved with Spear and with Coys and Seattle Study Club. You yeah. actually, you describe yourself as a CE addict. I am. <laughs> Why I am. is education so important? I mean, it's everything. I, it's, you know, if you're, if you want to evolve and go anywhere, you have to have, and Christian Coachman talks about this all the time, it's this beginner's mind, right? You have to have this mentality that no matter how much you think you know, and at this point I've been practicing for 17 years, so I know a little bit, <laughs> right? But this thought of like always learning and always advancing and evolving and, and no matter, even if you go somewhere where the philosophy might be a little bit different than what you're used to, I tell my team, because I'll, I'll send my team to continuing education too, I'm like, it might be different than what we're doing, but you're always going to learn one thing and you can just bring it to your flow and connect it. So I'm addicted to it. I, and of course, some of super high end stuff. And I'll also, you know, learn from anybody, like even from a conversation. And education seems so important to you that you actually came up with your own educational platform, <laughs> Key Elements. Tell I, us a little bit more about oh, that. Thank you. I did. I So this journey, right? And then my digital journey being so public too, made a, like I had so many people reaching out and after presentations and, and a lot of people asked me like if I love lecturing and, and it, I was literally like pushed on the stage, like do this. And I don't, I don't know yet. I've been like doing it for like about four to five years. I don't know yet if I absolutely love it, but I love the after, the, the aftermath of it, the the messages that I get. So a lot of these, a lot of these messages were like, "I need help. Can you help me do? Can you help me with this case, Carla? Can you do this case with me? Can you like?" And it started getting so overwhelming. Then I figured I just need to figure out a way to really help because I want to, because I want to hold people's hand just like somebody helped me. And I had a lot of amazing mentors. Um, so then I, I, you know, this idea came from a friend for a, a DSZ and then we developed it. And, and it's been the most fulfilling, incredible journey because it's really like bringing people almost to the light. And I know that sounds a little condescending, but you really are like at this day and age, you're, you're really like you're either... Like, and I always ask in my lectures, like, what side of dental history do you want to be on? Because you're either in the light side or in the dark side. You're in the digital or you're not. And, and that's that dentistry. It worked for a really long time, but it's just it it's it's not predictable. It's not uh, reproducible. And I, it's it's just I mean, to me, there's a different way. There's a better way. So it's been really rewarding to bring people to that and then change their professional life. From the dark side to the light From side. The, yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> Very good. Carla, you have been incorporating digital smile design, DSD, in your yes. practice. Yes. Extensively. Yes. Tell us a little bit about DSD. When, when did you uh, came across DSD? Uh, DSD has been transformational in my journey. And um, because, because it's this whole um, concept, the, the whole philosophy, sure, digital and technology and all of that, but with that, like, connection, which was when I told you, when you asked me, wh wh how do I differentiate myself? I always had that, but I, I wanted the ease of, like, making it, you know, predictable, reproducible, productive. So DSZ to me would like it like totally changed the way that I was able to communicate with patients. It elevated the way that I was communicating with patients and made a reality. All of this knowledge that I'm, I now had with Spear and with Kois and everything made me be able to actually do it, not just talk about it and then not be able to communicate with the patients or close. I mean, we all know there's financial obstacles. There's all kinds of things, but when people really feel it, they see the value and then they go for it. So also the the way that i plan and the way that i you know so many things but it's it's transformational and i and and i think and i joke about it but i tell christian all the time that he changed my life and i do mean it very good we do have a little surprise here for you okay uh, a video message from someone who you know quite well okay hello to all my vhf friends team members and booth visitors. I'm Christian Coachman, founder of DSD, Digital Smile Design. And I was supposed to be there with you in person. I don't remember the last time I missed an IDS, but unfortunately this year I will not be able to make it. But I didn't want to miss the opportunity to send this message to you all. We are using this IDS to launch our collaboration with VHF. 
VHF and DSD collaboration. We have a very good feeling about this work that we're going to be able to do together. There's a very strong reason why we are joining forces, why we are sharing the same beliefs of modern dentistry. A brief introduction to DSD. DSD is a company that has education in its DNA. Today, we are an education company, but also a service company. We basically help doctors, technicians, and professionals from the dental world to implement comprehensive digital care at the highest level. There's basically three main pillars where we work with these teams to make this magic happen. Pillar number one of DSD, comprehensive treatment planning. How to improve comprehensive treatment planning on a daily basis. Pillar number two of DSD, how to incorporate technologies, improve performance on clinical execution, pragmatic and realistic. Pillar number three of DSD, patient experience. How to differentiate yourself through unique patient experience. Incorporating technology for that reason as well, but understanding better human behavior, communication, branding, storytelling, to make sure that the world understands the amazing things that you can do for your patients. Based on this philosophy, we understand that we do need to create strategic partnerships with companies that think alike, companies that allows us to share our know-how in these three pillars, but also on research and development. And that's exactly our intention with VHF. By partnering up with the milling machine company, we want to fill one of the gaps that we see modern dentistry has today. We believe that the world is connected digitally and we need to leverage this connection. We need to understand what is smart to outsource and what is smart to bring in-house. We believe that doctors from all over the world, they need to create strong collaboration with real digital labs. The future of dentistry depends on this collaboration. Comprehensive dentists and digital labs. Now, in this collaboration, we need to understand what are the things that the lab can do the best and what are the things that the dentist can do the best. When it comes to milling, we believe that the future belongs to chair side milling for many situations and many scenarios on a daily basis. And that's the reason why we are working with VHF, to allow modern dentists to empower their portfolio of offerings through chair side milling as well. So we want to empower the lab to design the cases and do what they do the best. And we want to empower the digital dentists to bring this technology and streamline the processes. There's a lot of work ahead, but we are very optimistic because we know we picked the right company. We know that with VHF, we're gonna have the best technology to deliver in lab, comprehensive, complex work and chair side beautiful clinical solutions. So stay tuned and let's see what VHF and DSD can do together. See you around. Thank you, Thank Dr. You, Dr. Coachman. We are also very excited about the partnership and what this will bring for us. And uh, yeah, we heard Dr. Coachman is unfortunately not uh, able to be here at IDS in Cologne, but we have a few people of DSD here. Dr. Angela Raphael, Dr. Lucan de Abeola, 
Dr. Guillermo Manzano, George Cabana, Cabana. So very warm welcome to the VHF family. Yeah, Carla, you have been advocating for this <laughs> collaboration for quite some time. Where do you see the Me? benefits of VHF and DSD joining forces? I mean, you can't top what Christine just said. Um, to me, to me, it's a little bit more of a um, gut feeling than anything. To be completely honest, I, I the the world of digital, even though we're we're able to do so much. It's just the beginning, right? It's about to really explode. And the synergy, we can't do it alone. We can't just do it like, you know, completely close in our own lane. And empowering um, people with the right mindset and companies that have the vision of doing things and empowering those two, you know, like visions together um, with the, not just the right mindset, but also the right heart. In my case, like when I make introductions or when I put people together, companies together, it's because I've been working with the people and I think that's a really you, you have to be a good person I would I wouldn't trust such an important relationship with you know not not the, just just to make a relationship happen so to me it's incredibly exciting because it's just the beginning of something that's super powerful that can happen I mean he's he said it best I don't have I don't have to say anything more but to me it was that I just great minds great technology great vision great mindsets all coming together it's gonna be explosive Yeah. Unfortunately, our talk time is coming to an end. Thank you, Carla, so much for coming here to Thank being you. with us. I have a little gift for you. Aww. A mug and a unique uh, wow. um, air sprayed head, a baseball head uh, from an artist, a local artist here. You have number two of only 400. <gasps> really? And you have to wear it now. Of course. <laughs> That is so cool. Yeah, thank you everyone for, for coming. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves, grab yourself a drink. We have some music here and um, take it easy. Awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> thank that's you. So